Georgie from Bay! Hi, I'm Georgie from PLCCulture.com. My family and I are huge fans. My mom would tell me all the time that she would listen to you on 1580 AM stereo, KGAOI, with yeah. Ben Mack and the Mack Attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, my first question for you is what combination of mutant mayhem characters do you think would dominate at the Big Three? What combination of Ninja Turtles would dominate at the Big Three? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, or the other characters in this movie. Um, I think, well, I think the Ninja Turtles would definitely dominate because they work together, they're athletic, they train, you know, they they kind of fit. They they you know they they're the perfect athlete. Look, Superfly. He okay, but that one long, big claw he has, you know what I mean? His handle ain't tight, and his jumper is a little sus. So uh, the other guys, you know, they, I don't know if they substance abusers. I don't know, you know, I'm not sure if the mutants could play. You know, they look like they foul, they cheat, you know what I mean? And they, they'll, they'll clear out the park. So I put, my, I put my money on the turtles. Right, a superfly might break the ball with his claw. You know, he's a sore <laughs> loser. You know, he, he's like causing texts. You know, Dennis Rodman is his favorite player, so that lets you know how he think. <laughs> um, my next question is, as a big fan of animation and then also as an actor, what is, what is it like for you going from a character like the Candle Maker to going to like the opposite personality in Superfly? Uh, it's great. You know, the candle maker was, you know, he's a nice guy. He's, uh, pretty harmless. You know, I mean, he's a little mischievous, but, but nothing over the top. Uh, good guy. Superfly is just the opposite. You know, he a kingpin. You know, he got the ops on the run. You know what I'm saying? He got New York City on lock. Anything you're trying to do, you better check in or it's going to be a problem. And uh, he's very unreasonable, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, he stinks. He smells, you know, like chihuahua poo. But it's okay, you know what I'm saying? That's all right, you know what I mean? He's still running it, and ain't nobody going to tell him he stinks. Definitely. I wanted to ask you, who is the master splinter in your life? Oh, man, that would be, uh, that would probably be my pops. You know, he, he, uh full of wisdom, you know, he, he put me on the right path, you know, he's, he's responsible, well, him and my mom's, but, you know, if it's one person, he's responsible for the man you see today, so I would say it was him. That's awesome. Lastly, I wanted to ask you, because you've worked in live action, you've done animation, and you've acted in video games as well, what has been your favorite medium creatively to act in? Um, I would just say, Comedies, you know, um, you know, I like I like live I like live action. Um, animation is great; it's amazing, and I look forward to doing more. Uh, but you know, nothing can beat when you put it together with real people. You know, doing real funny and cool stuff. That's awesome! Thank you so much for your time. It was so great to meet you, and congratulations on the film. Thank you. Anytime. Tell your moms I said hi. <laughs>